Are you serious? Okay, let me call the super again. Come on, come on. Alright, another one of these tenants. Hello, maintenance. Hey, Gary, it's Ben from apartment 8B. Can you... 8B? We have an 8B in this building? And Gary, I've called you like eight times this week. Sorry. Go ahead, Ben. Be 8B. The light in our dining room has been out for like a month. There's a switch on off. Make sure it's in the on position. What else you got, Ben? Wait, wait, wait. No, it's definitely in the on position. I think there's a problem with the wiring or something. Ben, I got a lot of apartments. I'm moving on. What else you got for me? In the bedroom, there's this giant crack in the wall, and wind is just blowing through it constantly. Did you try putting a picture over it? What? They got a sale at Costco. Really nice wall art. No, I don't want to hide it. I want to fix it. What I'm saying is, if you can't see it, it's fixed. What's next? So the thermostat is super hot like so hot i honestly think it might catch on fire yeah no that your apartment always ran hot i had a thing going on with this uh prostitute and every time we were up there we had a, afterwards we had to take a nice cold shower wait you had prostitutes in my apartment when right before you moved in six months ago i've been here for three years hmm that explains why the furniture was there. You gotta be kidding me. You must be a really heavy sleeper because I was in that bedroom with the brown headboard. Me and the, and, and the Rosie, we would have ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom Wait, is that where the crack in the wall came from? It's not a big deal. I'm just trying to let you know that I understand your problem. The building and the apartment in particular runs a little bit warm. Eh, open a window. Next. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm sorry. Gary, can you hear that music right now? Yeah, that's Susan and Tom. They throw the greatest parties in the world. Yeah, every night. Yeah. I'm going to head up there after I get off the phone and you stop bothering me about all the stuff in your apartment. Well, because of them, I haven't had a good night's sleep in two years. You ain't getting one tonight because they ordered two eight balls. God damn it. Come to the party. Buy us some cocaine. I'm not coming to the party, Gary. She makes a beautiful bean dip with tortillas all around the outside. You'll love it. Gary, please, just when can you be up here? The first available I got is March 12th. March 12th? It's October 1st. You can't come up today? Yeah, I would. I'm swamped. All right? I'm swamped and I got athlete's foot. What? Are you... Why do we even pay you? In the winter time when it snows, I get the, the, the snow blower and I make a path. We live in Phoenix. Hmm. I, I also do landscaping. You know what? Hate to do this, Gear, but uh, it looks like the oil and the faulty wiring and the wind all kind of came together and has set my apartment on fire. So uh, we're going to evacuate. Um, any chance you can call the fire department? I have no idea how to do that. I hate you. We're going to evacuate. Come to the party. Also, consider this my one month's notice. Bye. Ben. Ben. Ben, A.B. Ben, A.B. Yeah, you there? I oh, Rosie. Yeah, I'm around tonight. Eight. B, our spot is open. What do you got? What else, 8B? I'm making a list. All right. I'm checking it twice. The holidays are over, and I had a prostitute in your place twice. You had a prostitute in my place twice? Twice. Oh, 8B's been my lucky spot, Aru. I got a little girl up the block, Rosie, Puerto Rican broad, all night long. Disco Inferno.